Red the Steakhouse might not be a name you immediately recognize, but if you've ever been in Miami or Cleveland and tried looking up the best steakhouse in the city, you undoubtedly came across it. Here's the untold truth of the legendary steakhouse. Peter Vothy and Jonathan Bennett were head chefs at the incredibly successful Moxie restaurant in Cleveland, Ohio, when they decided, alongside owner Brad Friedlander, to start their own steakhouse. On Christmas Eve 2003, they saw their vision come to fruition when the original Red the Steakhouse opened its doors. The 3,500-square-foot restaurant sat at 3355 Richmond Road in the Cleveland suburb of Beechwood, Ohio. According to Vothy, it didn't much resemble the red we know today. The name and dark red decor stem from the partners' memories of old-school steakhouses from the 1950s and 1960s. This approach gave the place the signature look that set it apart from the glut of other Midwestern steakhouses. After finding success in northeastern Ohio, Red soon began to seek other locales. The list came down to Los Angeles and Miami. Because Miami was a much shorter flight, the team opted to take its talents from Cleveland to South Beach, a full three years before LeBron brought that phrase into the lexicon. But unlike LeBron, Red didn't find instant success. Vathi said in an exclusive interview with Mashed, the first eight months were a massive, massive struggle. In Cleveland, we had a rep. In Miami, nobody cared. We didn't know you had to stay open on Christmas and New Year's. In Miami, everything closes late. We absolutely got our butts kicked. Eventually, though, Red finally found its stride, gaining substantial notoriety after the city hosted the Super Bowl in 2010. These days, the restaurant often lands itself on rosters of Miami's top steak spots, in numerous national publications, even Playboy magazine. Part of why Red the Steakhouse became such a runaway hit was because it offered a lot on its menu besides steaks. Vothi told Mashed he believes a steakhouse must constantly be reinventing itself to stay relevant, and that's why he's loaded his menu with stuff like chicken parm, oversized meatballs, and his trademark red lead sauce. He said, I felt like in Miami, we were missing a little of that mom's Italian restaurant, where you can eat big red sauces and just feel like you're at home. That's why we have veal parm and chicken parm on the menu. I think we have the best chicken parm out there. The incomparable menu also includes a hefty lineup of pastas, ranging from the traditional bolognese with veal and beef ragu, to lobster fra diavolo with fresh Maine lobster and spicy marinara sauce. Of course, Fothi's not above serving up some classic pizza for the whole family to enjoy as well. Another reason Red the Steakhouse has been able to stand out among the glut of contemporary American steakhouses is its impressive and sometimes terrifying menu of crab and lobster. Bothy told Mashed, You have to cater to vegetarians and pescatarians, and people who aren't big steak eaters, which means you've gotta up your game on the seafood side. The Brittany Blue Lobster's red pairs with the certified Angus Beef Prime Steaks is a huge part of why Daily Meal ranked the restaurant surf and turf as the best in America. But what's most impressive about Red seafood menu are the Alaskan King Crabs the restaurant flies in when they're in seafood. Season. While delicious on the plate, the crabs are so big, they look a little more like alien invaders when you first see them. If you're squeamish around exoskeletons, you may want to avert your eyes. When it comes to the world of high-end steakhouses, one might think that once you've reached the level of prime beef, you're getting the same stuff everywhere, but this is not always the case. Peter Vothi is a chef ambassador for Certified Angus Beef, an Ohio-based beef brand that puts its cuts through an extensive, 10-specification checklist before giving it the seal of approval. Vothi told Mashed, Certified Angus Beef is based in Ohio, and their corporate chef and I work side-by-side -side there. So when we opened, we went with All Cab Prime. That's our thing. That's how we'll get people in the door. And get them in, Vothi has, as Red South Beach is now the largest single purchaser of Certified Angus Beef Prime in the world. It has sold over 100,000 filet mignons and a whopping half million pounds of steak since opening opening its doors. That figure is thanks in large part to a couple of red signature cuts, a 48-ounce porterhouse and the head-turning 96-ounce tomahawk. We finished each steak with one of our signatures, which is we have a steak oil here, which is fresh herbs, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and a little bit of canola oil. By 2016, Red the Steakhouse was riding high, with its second Cleveland outpost in downtown leading the way. Bolstered by LeBron James' return to Cleveland and the Cavaliers' ensuing success, Red's location across from Quicken Loans Arena was doing great numbers according to Vothi. The Cleveland Indians' 2016 World Series run and the 2016 Republican National Convention also helped drive revenue. But despite that success and solid business in South Beach, the Red Restaurant Group was unfortunately losing money elsewhere, specifically Moxie, the original Red location in Beechwood, and two struggling locations in Indian Annapolis and Pittsburgh they'd established around this time period. The group declared bankruptcy in 2018, selling off the downtown Cleveland location to principal investor Greg Levy and a collection of partners. The original location in Beechwood also shut its doors, leaving South Beach in the hands of Peter Vothi. The Indianapolis and Pittsburgh locations were simply shut down for good, as there were too many steakhouses to contend with in those cities. In August of 2018, facing imminent bankruptcy from his partners, Peter Vothi was in a rough place. One of his best customers noticed Vothi struggling and asked if they could meet when the chef finally had a day off. The following Sunday afternoon, the pair had a meeting that would ultimately save the restaurant. Vothi recalls, 
He comes over and says, do you know what I do? He told me he did corporate bankruptcy restructuring. We talked for an hour, and ultimately we decided we were going to wrestle Red from the group and repurpose it moving forward. That regular was Aaron Hammer, who navigated a sea of troubling legal issues and gained separate ownership of Red South Beach for himself and Peter Vothi. They formed a new restaurant group called Besteca Hospitality and remain running the restaurant today. So to shore up any confusion, while once upon a time Red the Steakhouse was one company with locations in four cities, today they are separate. The Cleveland locations are owned by Greg Levy and his partners. Red South Beach is a separate entity, owned by Peter Vothi and Aaron Hammer. Levy retains the intellectual property of Red the Steakhouse, but Vothi is still able to operate under the Red name. Vothi told Mashed, We have a great working relationship. He owns a management company, and he's down here all the time hosting athletes, so it's good for his brand to have South Beach under his umbrella. Vothi jokes that he and Levy were the only two who ended up losing money out of the whole Red Restaurant Group venture. As in new spaces and under new leadership, Red the Steakhouse looks poised to maintain its place among America's best steakhouses. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.